All right, but I want to talk about how, you know, you actually making impacts on the music. Oh, yeah. Like, so, right now, I feel like I'm doing great. You know what I'm saying? Like, like right now, like, I, I know did, I was on Instagram. I was scrolling. I actually seen you comment. Jim Jones commented on the one of your posts saying, come, to the, come through to the studio yeah, tonight. Yeah, Jim Jones, that's like, that's... I didn't just scream tones with Jim Jones. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, don't, I was there. I, I'm, me, and, me and Max got songs. You know what I'm saying? Max Lee? You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, 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 I've been doing this. Like, like before, it was cool to do it on the internet when niggas got... I, I was... Before the internet was something, I was outside. A lot of niggas was outside, so I really can't respect their body of work because they just came to the internet and everybody seen what they doing through the internet or whatever. Outside. Like, I was really outside. I know Jomo. You know what I'm saying? His mother, sister... Everybody that's in his family, that's a long-term friend. So, yeah, he tells me to come to the studio when he feels like I'm doing good, and I appreciate him. Yes, I do. Speaking of when he, when he feels like you're doing good, you think a lot of people only reach out when they see you shining? I feel like a lot of people only reach out when they feel like I'm benefiting from what they are. And that's just that. Like, like they feel like, oh, Tim Vogels is going to help me do this right now because he's lit right now. Tim Vogels is going to forever be lit. You know why? Because I'm, I'm only me. I only know how to be me. I, a lot of these niggas become weird and just then the third and do these other shit to try to keep up with the times. The times can suck my dick. Facts. Facts. <laughs> no funny shit. I'ma always be me. I'm not gonna wear, when I get rich, I'm gonna be wearing urban gear with just jewelry, you know what I'm saying? And none of that shit. I'm not gonna be wearing, you know these niggas is gay? No disrespect. I don't even want to no disrespect to the gay people, but I don't even get to that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, the designer. Yeah, I just, like, I. Most people like I, I don't respect gay. Respect my little sister gay. I got a gay uncle. Respect all the gay people. You know what I'm saying, but that's not what I'm about. So if you're not really about it all the way, why try to halfway in, halfway out? And niggas be like, I don't like gay people. I don't mind gay people around me. None of that. I got gay friends and all that. But what I'm trying to say is that that's not what I'm about. So I'm not gonna support it. Y'all niggas would be like, I don't like gay people, but go and support all the gay people. Gucci. Queen. Gama, all these people that design them, these even last Lu names. Even Louis. <laughs> all these last names that these because these all last names, y'all know that right? Last name of real people. You know what I'm saying that y'all helped getting generational wealth that y'all can't help your own self do. Y'all not trying to put into your own generational wealth, but you're helping somebody else just to look good in front of other people that's doing the same thing that y'all doing. Y'all not going in front of these other uh ethnic backgrounds to other places to look good in there so you could probably get seen y'all want to be in the hood around each other see y'all could all the same then compare each other to each other like damn if he ain't got that then he ain't like me and y'all going back to the house like let me in <laughs> y'all about to go back to y'all go back to knock on a say let me in to go back in the house to be like yeah i shit it on niggas today gamble all your money away do all this shit to go back to get knocked on the door hopefully a bitch let y'all in sleep on the couch or whatever y'all going to and then pick out your next fit for the next day yeah, you got these kids wearing design you got these motherfuckers wearing designer on the train and on the bus i'm just saying like priorities is cool i don't know it's just I'm, i don't I, I mean me personally i i just feel like i get the same benefits of wearing urban gear but these parts, some PRPs, regular t-shirts, $80, some J's, regular hat. Fuck the same bitches y'all fucking. Facts. Probably even better. No funny shit. Getting the same money. And, and then I'm not bragging. I don't got to say, put this shit down my arm. What the what nigga? Y'all niggas is lucky I wasn't born in my era, bro. Y'all niggas have been vicks. Niggas have been robbing every last one of y'all niggas. I know niggas in jail that's up there for robberies right now, for real. They got, they like, oh my God, I wish these niggas was living when I was. I wish these niggas was coming outside doing all this down the arm shit, pulling out 500,000 when I was. Yeah, it was the cool to be Then robbery right would have been the biggest fucking thing to do because y'all niggas is all fixed. They looking like a walking leg. Niggas was going to jail for $200 for 20 years. Robbing niggas for regular bullshit ass watches for 20 years. You think a nigga won't end your life for 500,000? Everybody in your fucking family? Niggas was. See, you think it gotta be 500,000? Right. They'll do it for less. I'm just saying, I'm just giving a number. These niggas is pulling out packs, 180, whatever it was. Niggas is running up in the bank for 20,000 back then, telling everybody get down for 20,000. Y'all know that? No, y'all don't. For 20,000, nigga. Niggas was running down on niggas for 20,000. The difference between different... Niggas was killers back then. To, today, niggas is shooters. 
Y'all just shoot because y'all wanna shoot. Niggas was making shit happen. I'm talking about killing everybody in your fucking family, nigga. It's real. Let's talk about when people was running down, beating you the fuck up and uh, stealing your Avarex. No, <laughs> nigga, fuck Avarexes, nigga. You had every beating, nigga. I don't remember back in the days, nigga. Like, certain boroughs, you could have certain, <laughs> certain boroughs is known for certain things. You know what I'm saying? Since things just changed up, I don't went through the, through the eras. Brooklyn was Brooklyn. known for robbing niggas. Brooklyn take it. Like, for real. Like, if you've seen a Brooklyn nigga, you would guarantee a robbery going on. Like, this is they M.O. M.O. meaning main occupation. That's all they do. <laughs> Rob niggas. Harlem niggas. Manhattan niggas. Getting the money. Queens niggas was fly niggas too. But they was known as just for getting the bitches. So they was like, Queens. You know, back in the day, like, Queens. You know, that's how people was doing back in the day. Queens. Bronx niggas burning shit. Robbery. They was into burning shit and robbery too, breaking an entry. They was doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really know about Staten Island besides the Wu-Tang. They was the only thing keeping Staten Island alive back in the day. Nobody was going across the water because black niggas can't swim. We couldn't phantom that. So certain niggas was going there and some niggas wasn't. You laugh. You know what I'm saying? So those are the barrels right there for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Staten Island, what's the saying? Brooklyn, uh, Manhattan make it, Brooklyn take it, the Queens don't care? Niggas that Brooklyn keep Brooklyn niggas take it there, bad niggas make it there, Harlem niggas take it there, Brooklyn niggas take it there, Queens niggas fake it there. That was hey. <laughs> that was back in the days. I was a little nigga for that, little little nigga. But I don't even say that back in the days. Y'all changed it up because y'all niggas started scamming. And I don't like the fact y'all let these rat niggas become everything. Like that's, that oh my shit. god, long nigga got money, he's the man. Oh my god, he just told on your father. So what? He gave me twenty thousand, bitch. Y'all bitches suck anything for anything. Y'all out here doing the most for the least. It's y'all bitches that's making the world fucked up. The morals, the nurturing, the bitches don't want to be nurses no more. Bitches don't want to be doctors. They don't want to be... They, I don't... Nah, let me see if it, It's some females out here. There's women still out here. But I don't know who I'm talking to. Y'all bitches. Y'all bitches. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to be... How? You know 20 years from now, the internet don't erase nothing? Nothing, like nothing. I could find something I did and I thought it was gone 20 years ago. It's still there. Like, you know, you know they're gonna, your kids are gonna see you fucking for money. Your OnlyFans? <laughs> your OnlyFans. It's gonna be free by then. It's, you can find it now. They got OnlyFans on Pornhub. Nigga, y'all post it up for free. I'm not your only man. <laughs> Word. Y'all out here sure. going crazy. Like, this is letting y'all know how to. The generation back then would have never. They do all this shit in back on the low. They was hoes and freaks, but they never let it come back to the house. Hard to get a new. You just got the bitch get freaky back, but you see only thing in person now. A bitch butt naked twenty seconds. I could go to my page right now, find a bitch butt naked shaking her ass every twenty seconds. Just scroll down Instagram and find. Right down Instagram, I'm guaranteed to find somebody naked posting doing something shaking her ass. Click the link in my bio for more. Guarantee questions. some bitch doing something trying to show. That's one bitch. Yeah, that's one. I'm, I, you already know. <laughs> yeah, that, that, I want, two, I'm guaranteed to see some bitch do this. Yeah. I ain't got to go to Pornhub no more. I'm guaranteed. Every time I go down, there's a bitch naked. There's nothing. So that's why niggas don't care about wifing y'all no more because this. Y'all giving it away Look, for free. This easy. I can just throw it in and she's going to turn around. I guarantee she's going to show her ass. Guaranteed to show her ass. I can bet a hundred dollars. I can bet a million. Oh. Look, I can bet a million. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> a gazillion. Like, I don't want to keep showing y'all the facts, but I'm trying to say, like, this is why niggas treat y'all the way y'all Nigga don't, and y'all be like, oh, I deserve a nigga with a big bad is going to wipe. We don't see wife. We see, let's give her the pipe. Oh, that nice. ass is fat. You going to show us the ass? You think we thinking marrying, trying to live and make shit last? No, we not trying to make shit last. We just want the ass. We just want the ass. We gonna, how we gonna think that you a smart bitch when all we see is you twerking? Damn, I we seen you twerking and butt naked all the time. Like, damn, she mad intelligent. That's not what we see. Stupid ass bitch. I'm just tired of hoes. Like, I'm, y'all, y'all just dumb as, y'all be wanting the most for the least. Y'all give us the least and want the most. Like, bitches don't even know how to cook no more. Like, y'all don't even know how to do nothing no more. Nothing like y'all bitches don't know how to do. Give a nigga a proper back massage when he been outside busting his ass all day for you come back to your bullshit. <laughs> but you want a nigga to be all oh, one. You got standards. What's your standards? Niggas need standards. Come when people show things how a gun. Like if you go to a basketball court, the standard is the score and the hoop. 
We know we gotta shoot the ball in the hoop. Y'all bitches don't even come with the hoop. They don't even come to the court. Oh, you want me to ball? But you want me to shoot. So you want me to build a hoop and shoot too? And you, gotta, even, and you gotta get the ball, the air. The air, this is everything, the bottom gym. Fuck it. <laughs> everything, bro. That, that, that make it impossible for a nigga to really understand what y'all really need. What y'all really need. And then if y'all get what y'all really need, y'all don't want that no more because y'all y'all missing out on what y'all had. Don't let that go over this part of your body. No funny shit.